Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chronically Fearless vlog. It's Tasha and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Um, first, we're, I'm going to do a recap of our gender reveal, um, which was at the end of March. Um, we found out what we're having. Um, and then also I'm going to do a 25 week pregnancy update. Um, this video, when I put it out in a couple of days, I'll probably be closer to 26 weeks. Um, but just to give you guys an update on some of the things I'm using, some of the feelings I'm feeling, you know all that good stuff um but i will try to save some things for um my second trimester video but um just to go over some of that stuff with you um so if you're interested in learning more please stay tuned hey guys so um thank you again for tuning in um, our gender reveal was at the end of March. Um, so I am going to show some clips of that day, but before I do that, I want to get into, um, why we did it the way we did, how it ended up being, how it did, and how Mother Nature was like, yeah, y'all about to make this quick. Um, so, um, first of all, because, um, this is my, my first pregnancy, I just, <clears throat> I don't know why I was just very skeptical of finding out at 11 or 12 weeks like most people do. I just, I don't know, I was nervous. I was like, I don't wanna do that blood test thing. I was just like, let's do it the normal way, find out in March um, at that appointment, at the 20 week appointment. So um, we set the date for the 20 week appointment way in advance, but um, at the time we had a prior engagement that was gonna be the weekend right after. So we said, you know, um, let's make it March 26. Um, it'll probably be starting to warm up by then, you know, um, and we could just do it at the Capitol Wheel. We live in the DMV area, so that's a popular place where people do gender reveals. Um, it's basically a huge Ferris wheel um, that turns either pink or blue. Um, you pay a small fee to get that done. Um, <laughs> sounds simple, right? So I was gonna, um, <clears throat> I got favors, you know, we invited some close friends and family because I'm a big, advocate of not really i don't just me it, it's fine for anybody else but i don't really like the idea of a huge gender reveal because you have to have a baby shower i think either just do them together around the baby shower time or just have one of them be bigger and one of them be smaller but i wanted a small i didn't want to do too much so um that was our decision to do that um i will say once it got to the week of the gender reveal i started not going crazy but I couldn't wait any longer. Like, I just, I was tired of calling my baby it. I was tired of, of um, just basically not being able to say he or she. And I just felt like I would be able to connect with him or her a lot better once I knew what it was gonna be. In my mind, I was thinking, I was thinking boy for months, um, only because of certain things. There were times I thought girl a lot too, but, just certain things kept happening that made me think, you know, this is a boy, especially his sonogram pic, um, videos and pictures. Not to say the girls aren't energetic, but, um, oh, I already spilled it. I was trying to say it. Okay. Um, anyway, but because of the sonogram pictures um, and the way he's always flipping around, right now he's doing it actually, um, I was just like, this is a boy. It has to be a boy. Like, um, it's a boy. Um, but I didn't want to like disappoint myself if I started definitely saying it or telling people, oh yeah, I know it's a boy, I'm team boy, you know, and be wrong in the end. So I was just like, okay, cause I would have been very happy with the girl too. Like I told you guys, I was up for anything. Um, but uh, let me just show you guys um, uh, the footage we could get and then <laughs> explain a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't take an hour, but you know, um, let people gather and do it, take pictures. That's really the.
So um, the Thursday before our gender reveal, um, the contact at the Capitol Hill that I had been speaking with, you know, everything was confirmed, everything was good, called to tell me that there was a technical issue with the wheels. So basically, outside of the preset colors that the wheel had, they couldn't change the wheel colors on demand, um, which meant that basically we weren't gonna have, you know, the big pink or blue happen. Um, and that she could give us some of our money back, but also give us a space on the dock to just, um, you know, gather. They would still put confetti cannons out for us and all that stuff. So, you know, just given <clears throat> um, a lot of, you know, how, how I was tired already, how we didn't want to have a big event again, I just said, you know what, let's just stick with it. It sounds like they're making accommodations for us, so let's just roll with the punches. Um, this day was also originally supposed to be 70 or 72 degrees. Um, that's when the forecast changed to, I think, 50 degrees or something like that. And we forgot that the Capitol Hill is by the water. So, um, not only was it 50 degrees, but it felt more like 30. And there was a serious, like, wind and rainstorm happening that day. So, I would like to thank everybody who still came out there in that kind of weather because it nearly blew me away i think i brought i brought some like low heels to wear never put them on um I, we never even like really i never sat sat down to like say oh everybody let's take pictures let's do this like we took pictures afterwards because like the wind that hit us like um my hair, I usually, well, for the black girls in, that are watching, like I usually wear closures, but I say, you know, I'm gonna leave out. Wigs are giving me headaches um, since I'm pregnant and stuff like that. So all that, the one time I decided to get a leave out, that's when, you know, we're hit by a windstorm uh, right before the gender reveal. But anyway, everybody gathered very quickly and um, we popped the cannons. Oh, and we found out that the cannons they had, we thought they had big confetti cannons were exactly like the ones that our sisters got off of Amazon. Uh, so yeah, but I just decided to leave it alone. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, we did our general reveal there by the water and then some friends and family came over uh, to our place afterwards to celebrate, but um, Team Boy um, won. Uh, <laughs> this is a bouncing baby boy. And when I say he's literally bouncing, and I, I don't know, I feel like since I found out, my stomach seems to be like higher, like very soccer ballish, basketballish, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, but now I feel like uh, now that I know what he is, I have a better idea of like his personality. Um, he, I feel like he responds to me. <laughs> cause like if I'm talking a lot, cause he already knows he has a loud mother, like, um, yeah, we've crossed that bridge already. But um, like as soon as I talk, like sometimes that's when he'll start, it's like rolling or like punching me, but not in a, it doesn't hurt yet. Um, but yeah, he does a lot. Like I know when he's awake, I tell him good morning and everything. But um, I will say that I'm really, really, really happy to be and excited to be a boy mom. Um, I always said that, you know, I love little girls, you know, you want your mini me and all that stuff. But something in me was like, I don't wanna have to focus on anybody else's hair right now. You know, um, that might be a lot. And number two, um, my nephews, you know, I have a lot of nephews. I have a lot of um, just little boys around around me, like family-wise. So, and they're so funny. They're so, I don't know, little boys are like crack me up. So <laughs> I just thought about how like funny or interesting he might be. Not that a girl wouldn't be, but me and the girl are gonna like vibe more like in different ways. But with a boy, I feel like he's just gonna make me laugh like a lot. So, um, and he already does sometimes from in here. Like we see, we get each other. Like um, it's to the point, um, even though I still have, what is it? Probably about 15 weeks to go. Um, sometimes when I, I like, I really want him out so we can meet him, so I can kiss him and all that stuff. But at the same time, we've bonded so much. It's like, I also like it just being you and me. So um, yeah, I'm wrapping my mind around that. Um, but outside of that, I loved, I still, outside of the windstorm, outside of the wheel not working, <laughs> I still loved um, our gender reveal and finally finding out um, I will say I'm never doing it again though. I'm never waiting um, 20 weeks. I'm gonna 
you know, I don't know if I'll just do one more after this, two more, but I'm definitely finding out at the first trimester screening. I'm, yeah, never again, because it's all, also like I couldn't start putting everything I wanted on my registry. I couldn't do so many things just because I didn't know what it was. And because we had that delay, because we had other engagements, so, uh, we had to put it off even further. It was just like, oh my God. So basically I did not find out what I was having till I was 22 going on 23 weeks. Um, but um, yeah, I uh, we're having a boy. <laughs> okay, so um, now I just wanted to give a brief um, 25 week update. Um, 25 weeks as of right now, um, God willing, we're gonna get all the way to 40. So let's pray, <laughs> um, but uh, he's doing basically everything the doctors are saying, everything my apps are saying, everything, just, you know, everything seems to be right on time. Like I remember this week, I looked up the fact that, you know, he might be opening his eyes soon. And if you put a flashlight, like, um, you know, wave a flashlight in front of your stomach, that baby might respond by kicking. And I did it twice yesterday and that's exactly what happened. Um, it just, almost everything my apps say, I usually experienced it that same week. Um, so he's right on time. My last doctor's appointment, they checked my, um, I think it's the fundal height, where they measure from your navel um, to where your stomach ends um, to see how fast you're growing. And um, yeah, I'm growing at the right pace. But the weird part is, and I think it might be because I was so stressed, um, you know, that month of our wedding and stuff like that, that I lost a lot of weight. Like sometimes there are certain wedding pictures I don't like to see because I'm already skinny, but I feel like I was bones, especially on the day of. Um, so I don't know if it's because I lost weight that it seems like, like when I actually go on the scale, like I haven't gained that much weight. Cause I'm typically, I'll say around, uh, most in most times I'm around 110. And my last appointment, I was only 122. So I was like, but I feel like I've gained a lot more than that. Like I feel heavy some days, not in a, like a, too much of an exhausting way, but I feel the extra weight especially when I'm laying down or when I'm trying to get up from laying down. Um, so I thought it would be a little bit more for me being basically six months pregnant um, and my th um, third trimester starting basically in two weeks. So um, yeah, I was kind of surprised, but I guess it comes slowly, especially for a first child, especially for someone with like a small frame like me, because technically I didn't really start showing until 16 weeks, basically a week before the first video was made, <laughs> um, the reveal video. And then, um, yeah, in this last like week or two, my stomach has just like popped. But then I see people and then they're still like, oh, it just looks like you're full or, oh, you know, this is the smallest belly I've ever seen. It's so cute. So um, it's different for everybody. Um, one thing I'm definitely learning with pregnancy is that nobody has the same story at all. Like there are so many different things that happen, um, so many different, not, and not just with symptoms, just the way it happens for everybody is crazy. Um, but I did want to talk about um, also in this 25th week um, and in this second trimester, two things that I now cannot live without. So first, um, we're gonna talk about my belly band and I actually think I need a new one. Um, like I said, my belly is popping out. Um, I don't think I have any pants that fit me anymore that aren't sweatpants or leggings. So, um, and it's just weird. Like I said, I'm small. So maternity clothes is not always the best option for me. I like, I actually just purchased one of the first maternity dresses that I ever got for a wedding I have to go to next week, but I like, it's loose so I can't tell if it really fits me snug the way it should but like because a lot of maternity clothes I feel like I'm still too small for them but other clothes like I'm popping out like I can't even zip it up so um, what I have for pants is this belly band um, and this is just basically I just pull zip the pants up as much as best as I can I don't try to you know choke my stomach and then I just put this on top and um, this was helping me too you know when I go to sleep because sometimes my stomach, it's a little firmer now, but it would just kind of flop one way and flop the other way. And I would feel like, man, am I like throwing the baby <laughs> in different directions? So this kind of like keeps everything in place. It was helping um, my back to feel better. Um, so this has been very good. I got this from Bump Boxes. Um, it came, um, it's one of my subscription boxes and I'm definitely gonna do a video about that 
um, soon. That's actually my next video um, to tell you guys about two subscription services that I've been using since I found out I was pregnant. Um, I've never really done subscription service, excuse me, sus subscription services because um, I'm just like, what if they send me stuff I don't want? But I will say for both of these places, they send me everything that I like. Like there's been certain stuff I haven't even had to buy um, just because everything comes in this box like these. But I might need to get a bigger size of these, these soon um, just because, yeah, we're popping out. But then something that I got, I think we're going on a week and a half or two weeks that is now my best friend. Um, is um, my pregnancy pillow. At first, I didn't think I needed it um, because body pillows, I feel like you put them on the bed and they're just in the way all the time. But this has saved my back in the last couple of weeks. It has saved like just me feeling like, it was like me and the bed would be fighting um, all the time, me and the bed are fighting. So um, basically I got this pregnancy pillow. Okay, so. This is my pregnancy pillow. It's like shaped like a C. And basically, <laughs> um, basically you can sit in it like a little nest. Um, sit in it, sleep in it, read in it, do whatever you can, telework in it. And um, this pillow, because uh, basically, let me tell you guys what was happening at first. Um, I was, well, number one, waking, I'll show you a meme of how it looks when I'm trying to wake up to even get out of the bed to pee. Or do anything. Just because someone's um, bump is small doesn't mean like it's not hindering you from doing certain things. And it definitely was for me like just trying to roll out of the bed or trying to find a good position. And I felt like because I was getting up so fast, that was affecting my back because you're trying to roll out so that you don't hurt your stomach and you're trying to do it fast enough, but then sometimes it's too fast and then you strain your back. So um, this has helped me so much because it props my neck up, elevates my legs because what was also happening was I was getting random muscle spasm, uh, muscle spasms and leg cramps in my left leg for absolutely no reason. Like I would wake up in the middle of the night and my leg was on fire. So it elevates my leg because of the C shape, it elevates my legs holds up my belly um, on either side, no matter which way I turn, and then it holds up my head enough, so, cause I don't think the pillows on our bed were giving me enough support either. So um, since then, when I say I have not, my back has not hurt, uh, nothing since I got this pillow. And this was on Amazon, I'm gonna include the link um, for this um, in the description bar, but it has been very good to me, <laughs> this pillow. I hope it stays like that, cause you know, they say second trimester is your most comfortable, but I feel like third trimester things are starting to happen to me. Either that or third trimester is just about to hit me like whoosh. So um, I hope it is still beneficial in the third trimester. Cause again, I only have like two, three more weeks of it. Um, so, um, and that's another thing. I'm just, I'm just hoping it isn't unbearable because one thing that's happening now is I get so sleepy. Like I can't even function now. Like. It's to the point, like, I'll, I'll be fine one minute and then, like, maybe it hits, like, 9 o'clock and I think, oh, I'm up, I could watch Netflix, I could do this, I could do that, and I'm gone. And then I wake up and it's 6 a.m. Uh, so, because, again, I think I said in an old video, I was a night owl and I've changed completely. Now I wake up early naturally, but I go to sleep so early and I get mad at myself because I'm like, but there's stuff I wanted to do. <laughs> so, um... I'm getting used to that um, and just pregnancy overall, but I can say I'm still definitely enjoying it. Um, uh, my mom says my face is getting fat, but and some other people, but I still think it looks the same. Uh, I took a poll on Instagram the other day and most people say it still looks the same. Um, I'm really kind of just all belly for the most part. Even my seamstress said that when I went to go um, get fitted for something the other day, so. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to get my maternity pictures set up soon uh, before, you know, this uh, gets crazy, my nose, because I feel like that's definitely gonna happen. I feel like that's inevitable. <laughs> so I wanna get those done before that happens. Um, but yeah, um, we're doing well, me and um, the baby. I will say that Anthony and I have also chosen a name now that we know the gender. 
Um, we shared with some close family already. Um, we probably won't share with the world until he's born, but I love it. Um, <laughs> I love his name because it makes me, I don't know, that that's the first name that we talked about that I felt like I really, like, you felt, I fell in love with it and I felt like that's him. Like, it's, from what I can see and feel about his personality already, I feel like it just goes um, and it's something, it's just something that I like. Um, I will say it is a unisex name, if anybody wants a clue, because I love unisex names. Um, yeah, but not, I love unisex names just because I don't, it's not for, you know how people um, say, oh, don't name your kids this because of their resume. Don't name them this, this, that. Name your kids what you want. I like unisex names, so yeah. And Anthony liked the one we agreed on, so. Yeah, that's just that. It's not <laughs> It's not for any deeper purpose. I just think they're cute. So um, other than that, um, stay tuned, stay fearless, and definitely tune in to my next video, which will be a review of the belly bundle versus bump boxes. Um, so um, stay tuned and stay fearless. Bye, guys.